Hi, my name is Jin Ho Kang, and I'm a Senior Solution Engineer for Arcturus Indoors at Esri. In this Arcturus demonstration, we'll be looking at configuring indoor categories. This is Indoor Viewer, and we're looking at Esri's Redlands Campus. One of the main features in the Indoor Viewer is the Explorer tab, which displays many assets and items within the facilities arranged by these main categories and their subcategories. Categories in a map defines ArcGIS Indoors, how people interact with point and polygon data in Indoor Viewer and Indoors mobile apps. These layers can be derived from feature classes in the ArcGIS Indoors data or from feature layers shared with your ArcGIS organization from other business systems. The layers can represent work orders, assets, office spaces, or other features. These categories can be configured into logical groups to help indoors app users quickly find relevant information, such as a bike rack, elevator, conference room, or work order. For example, I will look for one of my colleagues' new office locations from the people category. This category is divided into specific departments or teams. I know he is in ArcGIS Pro team, and I'll go ahead and click the ArcGIS Pro team subcategory which displays all the staff lists. Once I click my colleague's name, you'll see that the map zooms and pans to my colleague's location. All the categories items are from ArcGIS layers. Therefore, every item can be also viewed, searched, and routed. As you can see, there can be hundreds and thousands of items and assets inside the building, and organizing and providing those data can be informative and valuable for everyone. So let's explore how to configure thousands of items, lists, records to meaningful categories in ArcGIS Pro. For the best ArcGIS indoor data experience, it is highly encouraged to use the indoor database created from the indoor geoprocessing tool. The Place and Things feature layer is the indoor data model's points of interest feature class. This feature class has close to 3,000 recorded assets and locations within the campus. The features are organized by the category subtype field attribute with meaningful icons using the unique value symbology tool. To use these arranged categories in Indoor Viewer, go to the View ribbon menu and start the Configure Indoors Categories tool inside the Windows Groups. There are many ways to create categories, and for this demonstration, we will start from the scratch. From the Explore tab, click Create Category Group to start a new category group. This category group will be named Place and Things to follow the Place and Thing layer closely. Click the Create Indoors category, and the Category Wizard opens. The wizard process will go through six steps to configure a category item under the Place and Things category group. First, highlight the auditorium from the Place and Things layer, which will automatically populate the auditorium under the Name tab. Next, validate the expression clause of the layer to make sure that the sequence expression is valid. You'll notice that the red circles on the title tabs start to disappear. The goal is to clear all the red circles to complete the wizard process. On the field mapping tab, we'll leave it as it is since I'm not extending work order capabilities. In search fields, select which fields will be queried when using the search capabilities within ArcGIS Indoors. I'll be using name and long name fields to the search enabled fields. The suggestion template defines the field values and string format to be displayed as suggested result for category items when using the previous tab search capabilities within ArcGIS Indoors. I'd like to see the name field value to appear, so I'll select the name field and click Add to the template. Finally, set the icons of the category. You can bring your own organization styles and colors of the category items. You will need to define three sets of low, medium, and high resolution icons. If you only have one icon, the ArcGIS Pro can automatically resize the selected image for each resolution icon setting. 
Once you click Finish, double click the Place in Things category group, and you'll notice that the Auditorium category is created. I will do this for other 12 categories. You can copy the first category you just created and modify the duplicates properties for a faster process. The other method you can quickly generate the category is by choosing the layer from which the default categories will be derived from. Click the Create Default Indoor category and select the feature layer from all the classified items you'd like to bring it in. Here, I have chosen Place and Things feature layer again. I am omitting the field mapping also here. Once you click Finish, you'll notice that it automatically loaded all the category subtype values from the Place and Things layer. Back in Explore tab, go back, and you'll notice that the wizard created the same Place and Things group category again and loaded all 13 categories. To use the category capability in ArcGIS Indoor Viewer, you need to configure a definition query in the feature layer, which should have a WHERE clause that should define category type field value is equal to place and things. Also, set the map property to have allow assignment of unique numeric IDs for sharing web layers checked. Finally, when you're ready, publish the contents as web map and not as a web layer. You have completed the configuration process of your asset layer to work as explore items in ArcGIS Indoor Viewer app. This concludes the configuration of indoor categories demonstration. Thank you for watching.